नमस्कार आई एम डॉक्टर अखिल श्रीवास्तव आई एंड वेलकम यू ऑल इन द डेली वेदर ब्रीफिंग ऑफ 29th ऑफ मे 2025 इन दिस वेदर ब्रीफिंग वी विल सी व्हाट वाज द वेदर ड्यूरिंग पास्ट 24 आवर्स एंड व्हाट वी एक्सपेक्ट इन टर्म्स ऑफ वेदर ड्यूरिंग नेक्स्ट वन वीक इफ यू टॉक अबाउट द हाइलाइट्स ऑफ टुडेस वेदर कंडीशन देन अ डीप डिप्रेशन इज हैज फॉर्मड ओवर नॉर्थ ईस्ट बे ऑफ बंगाल देयर वाज अ वेल मार्क लो प्रेशर एरिया ओवर नॉर्थ ईस्ट बे ऑफ बंगाल यस्टरडे व्हिच गॉट इंटेंसिफाइड इनटू अ डिप्रेशन टुडे मॉर्निंग एट 5:30 आवर्स आईएसटी एंड वाज ले एंड ले ओवर एट नॉर्थ ईस्ट बे ऑफ बंगाल ऑफ वेस्ट बंगाल एंड बांग्लादेश कोस्ट it further intensified into a deep depression at 8:30 hours ist of today and uh, over the same region and it's likely to cross west bengal bangladesh coast between sagar island and khebupara by afternoon of today that is on 29th of may 2025 under its influence very heavy to extremely heavy rainfall is likely over northeastern states and south himalayan west bengal and sikkim till 31st of may In the issue that, uh, with respect to southern parts of the country, uh, the weather very heavy to extremely heavy rainfall is likely to continue over Goa, Karnataka, Kerala, and Ghat areas of Tamil Nadu on 29th and 30th of May, and reduce thereafter. Also, western disturbance is likely to impact northwest parts of the country, and uh, rainfall along with thunderstorm activity and gusty winds are likely over northwest India during next four to five days. If we see the main weather conditions in detail, then if we talk about the observation in past 24 hours, heavy to very heavy rainfall uh, is. observed over konkan and goa tamil nadu puducherry karaikal kerala and mahay coastal and south indian karnataka heavy rainfall was also reported over northeastern parts of the country including assam and meghalaya nagaland manipur mizoram tripura some himal west bengal and sikkim odisha madhya maharashtra marathwada telangana east madhya pradesh and vidarbha If we talk about thunderstorm and gusty winds, wind speed between 40 to 80 km per hour was observed over Tamil Nadu, Assam and Meghalaya, East Uttar Pradesh, Himachal Pradesh, Andaman and Nicobar Islands, Uttarakhand, Gangetic West Bengal, Haryana, West Uttar Pradesh, Madhya Maharashtra, Konkan and Goa, Mizoram, Odisha, Jharkhand, Southern West Bengal, Sikkim and Punjab. Hail storm was also seen over Himachal Pradesh and dust storm over western parts of the Rajasthan. Now another important feature which we are seeing is the advancement of southwest monsoon. Southwest monsoon today has further advanced into some more parts of Chhatt. Chhattisgarh and Odisha some more parts of north west bengal remaining parts of north eastern states and some parts of south himalayan west bengal and entire sikkim today that is on 29th of may 2025 also the conditions are favorable for further advance of southwest monsoon over some more parts of west bengal and bihar during next one to two days we talk about the other synoptic features which are impacting uh, india today then as already informed that the depression has intensified into a deep depression and it lay centered uh, over northwest bay of bengal of west bengal bangladesh coast near latitude 21.3 degree north latitude and 88.5 degree east longitude it was about 60 km southeast of sagar island 110 km southeast of riga 160 km east of balasore 180 km south southwest of mongla in bangladesh and 180 km west of khepupara in bangladesh it is likely to continue to move nearly northward and cross west bengal bangladesh coast between sagar island and khepupara by afternoon of today in addition to that there is a western disturbance which is uh, situated in as a upper side of circulation over jammu and kashmir and a trough around longitude 75 degree east to the north of 32 degree north there is also another western disturbance as a cyclone circulation over northern parts of afghanistan and neighborhood in lower and middle tropospheric levels there is also a low upper side of circulation in lower tropospheric levels over south punjab and one over west rajasthan if we talk about uh, northern parts of central uttar pradesh there is a cyclone circulation in lower tropospheric level there is also a trough which runs from south east rajasthan to the center of deep depression over north west bay of bengal of west bangladesh west bengal bangladesh coast across north madhya pradesh chatisgarh jharkhand gangetic west bengal at lower tropospheric levels with respect to temperature observed we are seeing uh, the uh, maximum temperature yesterday was reported in 44.8 degree centigrade at barmer west rajasthan thereby there was no heat wave condition reported anywhere in the country yesterday and the temperature was in the range of 40 to 45 degree centigrade in many parts of rajasthan and punjab in some parts of haryana chandigarh east uttar pradesh east madhya pradesh and isolated parts of west madhya pradesh temperatures are expected uh, with respect temperatures we are expecting no significant change in maximum temperatures over northwest india during next 24 hours and gradual fall by 2 to 4 degree centigrade thereafter for subsequent 3 days maximum temperatures are likely to rise by 2 to 3 degree centigrade over central india during next 3 days and there's no uh, significant change in maximum temperatures likely over any parts of the country if you talk about weather warning then as we are expecting the uh, deep depression to cross 
today uh, between uh, Kepupara and Sagar Island in West Bengal and Bangladesh coast, uh, the northeastern parts of the country specifically are expected to receive very heavy, heavy to very heavy rainfall with that sort of extremely heavy rainfall. Accordingly, Assam and Meghalaya, Nagaland, Manipur, Nizam, Tripura and Arunachal Pradesh, they are expected to receive very heavy to isolated extremely heavy rainfall on 29th and 30th of May. Isolated places in Meghalaya is also expected to receive exceptionally heavy rainfall. That means more than 30 centimeter rainfall on 29th and 30th of May 2025. In addition to that, Sikkim, West Bengal, Odisha, they are expected to receive isolated places uh, very heavy rainfall on 29th and 30th. If we talk about southern parts of the country, Ghat areas of Tamil Nadu, Kerala, Karnataka, particularly uh, coastal Karnataka, southern Karnataka, they are expected to receive very heavy rainfall activity with isolated extremely heavy rainfall activity on 29th and 30th of May. Also in Konkan Goa also isolated places are likely to receive isolated places very heavy rainfall activity. As thunderstorm activity is likely over northwest parts of the country, we are expecting gusty winds from 50 to 60 km per hour, gusting 70 km per hour over Jammu and Kashmir, Punjab, Haryana, Uttar Pradesh, Madhya Pradesh and Rajasthan. Uh, during next two to three days, we also expect induct storm activity at isolated places over West Rajasthan, and accordingly, orange warning has been issued for northwest parts of the country. Isolated places in uh, Jammu Kashmir, in uh, Uttarakhand, and in uh, Himachal Pradesh are expected to receive isolated heavy rainfall activity. Also, also hailstorm is expected over West uh, Uttar Pradesh during next uh, two days. We are also expecting the red alert is issued for uh, Kerala for day two for isolated extremely heavy rainfall activity. In addition to that, we are expecting thunderstorm activity to continue over northwest parts of the country and adjoining central parts of the country on day 2 that is on 30th of May. On 31st of May, the rainfall activity is expected to be of the category of very heavy rainfall in Kerala and isolated heavy rainfall activity in adjoining coastal Karnataka. We are expecting significant reduction, uh, we are expecting reduction in the rainfall activity in the southern parts of the country. In addition to that, thunderstorm activity with lightning gusty wind 40 to 50 km per hour is likely to continue over central eastern parts of the country. In northwest parts of the country, including Uttarakhand, Himachal Pradesh, isolated places, we are expecting heavy rainfall activity on 31st of May including Jammu and Kashmir and thunderstorm activity is likely over this region with 40 to 50 km per hour gusting 60 km per hour on 31st of May. North in the parts of country including Assam, Meghalaya, Arunachal Pradesh, Nagaland, Manipur, Mizoram, Tripura are expected to receive heavy to very heavy rainfall activity on 31st of May. If we talk about day 4 and day 5 then we are expecting thunderstorm activity likely to continue over central parts of the country and adjoining South and South India with wind speed gusting from 30 to 40 km per hour gusting to 50 km per hour. In North central parts of the country, very heavy rainfall is expected over Assam and Meghalaya on day 4 that is on 1st of June and then heavy rainfall is expected on 1st June and 2nd June in natural places over northwestern parts of the country. If you talk about west coast, then Konkan Goa, coastal Karnataka and Kerala are expected to receive isolated heavy rainfall activity on 1st and 2nd of June. If we talk about 3rd June and 4th of June, uh, we are expecting isolated heavy rainfall activity over Arunachal Pradesh, Assam and Meghalaya on 3rd and 4th of June. In addition to that, thunderstorm activity with uh, wind speed gusting from 30 to 40 km, gusting 50 km is likely over Himachal Pradesh, Punjab, Haryana and Rajasthan on day 6 and day 7. As we are expecting a deep depression centered over northwest Bay of Bengal and we are expecting it to cross West Bengal and Bangladesh coast so accordingly fishermen are advised not to venture into North Bay of Bengal area adjoining Central Bay of Bengal area along and off uh, the West Bengal, Bangladesh and Odisha coast on 29th and 30th. We are also expecting because of extreme uh, rainfall activity and exceptionally heavy rainfall activity over Meghalaya there could be muds, uh, there could be landslides, there could be mudslides, there could be waterlogging low lying areas. The rainfall activity can cause trouble in the railway, roadway transport and also helicopter services may get affected. As wind speed is also likely to be on the higher side so we are expecting uh, some tree branches could get broken down, the loose items could fly and the small trees like papaya, banaya may also get uprooted. So accordingly people are advised to take the shelter and uh, and are advised not to stand, uh, take shelter behind uh, below a tree because in case of lightning activity it could cause more harm. So this is for today. We will again meet tomorrow with a similar kind of information. Till then, have a good time. Namaskar. Jai Hind.